satellites. Do you want your OpenTX or EdgeTX radio to display your satellite count and tell you when you've acquired minsats? Stick around, find out how. Welcome back to another penetrating episode of Just a Tip, a short series of tech tips and tricks with me, Rogue FPV. Have you ever wanted your radio to show you the number of GPS satellites you have in real time on your screen? How about an audible alert when you've acquired minsats and can arm your GPS quad? Do you want your real-time GPS coordinates displayed on your radio screen for quad recovery? I'm going to walk you through my logical switches, special functions, and widget screens and show you guys how to replicate these on your OpenTX Edge TX radios. And it only takes a few minutes. Let's jump right in. Before we start, let me just note all the steps outlined here will be the same for OpenTX and Edge TX radios. If you have a touchscreen, you can use that or the hard buttons. The first thing you should do is discover new sensors on your radio. This will pull in any new sensors the flight controller is reading, like sensor data from the GPS or barometer. To do that, we want to go to the telemetry screen, which is page 10 in the menu. You'll hit the menu button, and then the page button 10 times, or you can long press on the page button to go backwards through the pages. On the telemetry screen, scroll down to discover new sensors, and hit enter. Note, your quad has to be powered up for this. If the radio can't talk to the flight controller, you won't get any sensor data. If your flight controller, receiver, and GPS all power up from USB 5 volt, you won't need a LiPo for this step. After about 10 seconds, you can hit enter again and stop the discovery. As you scroll back up through the list, you should see some GPS-specific sensors like satellites, altitude, heading, GPS speed, and GPS. If you've already done this but the sensor data looks wrong, you can always delete all sensors and then rediscover them all fresh again. To get your radio to call out an audible alert when you've acquired minsats, you just need to create one logical switch. A logical switch is like a virtual conditional switch Basically an if this, then that statement. So we'll press menu and scroll to page 7 with the page button. As you can see, I have a few logical switches set up for my crossfire mode, link quality, and battery voltage, but the one we're interested in is the one on the bottom, LL5. Now for you guys, it doesn't have to be LL5. You can just use the first available line and hit enter to edit the switch. You'll set the switch as follows. Set function as A is greater than X. The switch will be active when A, V1, is greater than X, V2. V1, scroll through the list of inputs and set this variable to sats. V2, you can set this variable to your min sats number. Once sat count is greater than this number, the switch becomes active. As you can see, I have mine set for my minsat count, so my switch becomes active and I get the alert when I have minsats plus one, or nine satellites. I have an optional delay of five seconds set. The delay timer says that the above conditions must be met for five seconds minimum before the switch is active. This just prevents a lot of false positive alerts as satellites acquire and drop out frequently during cold starts. Now all we have to do is create a special function to play a sound file every time the logical switch we just made is active. Take note of the logical switch number you just made and hit exit to go back, then hit the page button once to go to page 8 of 11, special functions. You can see I have a bunch set up for various alerts and switch positions, but again the one we want to focus on is the last one on the bottom. On your radio, go to the first empty line and hit enter to create and edit the special function. In the first column on the left, scroll through the switches and set this to the logical switch number you created earlier. Hit enter and scroll to the next column. Change override to play track and hit enter. 
Scroll to the next column and set the sound file as S-A-T-E-L for satellites. Finally, scroll to the last column on the right and set it as exclamation hyphen. This prevents the alert from coming on when you start the radio and from repeating constantly when the logical switch is active. Now your radio will alert you with an audible and call out satellites when you've acquired minsats. The last thing I want to show you is how I get my satellite count on my radio display along with my real-time GPS coordinates. Since I use the DJI FPV system, none of the things in my OSD get carried over into my DVR, so I had to come up with a workaround for saving my GPS coordinates in the event of a crash. If I long press my page button, my widget screen gets displayed, where I have RxBat, link quality, GPS coordinates, satellite count, transmit signal to noise ratio, and receive signal to noise ratio displayed. You can display up to eight number widgets, three bar widgets, or one script per screen, and create up to four separate screens. The two I'm focusing on now are GPS and SATs. From the main screen, hit the menu button and scroll to page 11, or long press the page button one time to go back a page. If you already have a widget screen set up, you can add these two widgets in there or create a new screen. If you're creating a new screen, select the screen and then change None to Nums. Now you can scroll to one of the eight available locations and set GPS to display your GPS coordinates and SATs to display your SAT count. Now, from the Home menu, when you long press Page, your widget screen should display your coordinates and satellite count in real time. If you have more than one widget screen set up, you can use the page button to toggle between them. In the event of a crash or lipo ejection, the last reported GPS location coordinates will be displayed on the widget screen until the radio is powered off or until the radio model is changed. So get a good pic of it with your phone ASAP in case your radio gets powered down for some reason. Well, that about does it for this episode. As always, if you found this content helpful, please like and subscribe for more tips and tricks on how to make your FPV easier. If you guys want to check out my Betaflight 4.2 and 4.3 presets, the GitHub repo address is down below. All my quad tunes, rates, RC smoothing profiles, and OSD profiles can be added to your Betaflight configurator's presets tab for free. If you guys have any questions, or ideas for future tech videos, drop a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching guys, and stay tuned for the next one.